Hello friends, let us now learn about fascial diphtheria. Fascial diphtheria is an acute specific inflammation which uh, infection which occurs due to Corynebacterium diphtheria. This fascial diphtheria which is caused by Corynebacterium diphtheria is a droplet infection which occurs with incubation period of 2 to 6 days. Here this diphtheria can harbor in the throat of the diseased infectious individuals even without manifesting symptoms and they are called as carriers where they have the organism but they do not have the sim they have the organism but they have no symptoms those are called as carriers so if you see this fascial diphtheria mainly affects children more commonly than the adults and it is mainly involving the oropharynx. Sometimes even the nasal cavity can also be involved. In this fascial diphtheria you see that there is formation of a membrane over the tonsil so this is the grayish white membrane which is seen over the uh, tonsil and this can spread into the soft palate and also the posterior pharyngeal wall when we try to remove this grayish grayish white membrane it can result in bleeding when tried to remove sometimes you can also see the presence of cervical lymph nodes particularly the jugulodigastric lymph nodes which are enlarged and thus resulting in formation of bull neck appearance. The patient is ill, toxemic and sometimes have fever. If you see the complications this bacteria Corynebacterium diphtheria is a, one of the dangerous organism it is a toxic organism because it produces an exotoxin this exotoxin is toxic to heart causing myocarditis it can cause arrhythmias and also circulatory failure this exotoxin is also toxic to the nerves and because it is toxic to the nerves it can cause the paralysis of soft palate and also diaphragm in this membrane if you see this membrane can progress to the oropharynx and also nasopharynx and it can obstruct in the larynx it can cause airway obstruction so it is a dangerous disease now the treatment includes we will have to treat the diphtheria without based on the clinical suspicion itself we do not need to wait for culture report because culture takes longer time and diphtheria is a dangerous disease and it progresses very fast so if you see the aim of the treatment is to neutralize the exotoxin by giving the antitoxins we give 20,000 to 40 we give 20,000 to 40,000 units of diphtheria antitoxin is given if the baby presents less than 48 hours and if the baby presents after 48 hours then we will have to give 80,000 to 120,000 units of the antitoxin Antitoxin is either given by IV root in infant in saline. It is given intravenously in saline for about 60 minutes. Always before giving the antitoxin, you will have to test the sensitivity to horse serum. Because the antitoxin is obtained from the horses, so we should check the sensitivity from horse serum. 
it can be checked either by intracutaneous test or by conjunctival test with dilute antitoxin and you should why before you test for sensitivity always keep adrenaline beside if there is any uh, hypersensitivity reaction we can give adrenaline has and when required now along with that we can also give benzyl penicillin can also be given to the patient benzyl penicillin can be given around 600 mg 6 hourly for 4 7 hours and erythromycin if if the patient is sensitive to uh, benzyl penicillin we cannot use benzyl penicillin because of anaphylaxis so in such cases we can use erythromycin so this is about focal facial diphtheria thank you for watching my lecture thank you